The details of this audio program are not comprehensive and should be supplemented with your owner's manual. In addition, all the details given here may not apply to your BMW due to equipment specifications offered on a particular model or optional equipment ordered with the car. In the interest of continuing technical development, BMW of North America Incorporated reserves the right to modify designs, equipment, and accessories. This audio program may be reproduced or copied only with the express written consent of BMW of North America Incorporated. Congratulations on your selection of a new BMW. Your 525i is the culmination of BMW excellence in design, performance, safety, and style. This program is your personal guide to the operation, features, and controls of your new BMW. To take full advantage of the information presented, use it in conjunction with your owner's manual, which contains helpful specifications and illustrations. In the interest of safety, it's best to review this program with your BMW at a standstill. You can listen to the entire cassette or select segments from the table of contents using the tape seek function of the radio. When you're ready to make a selection, press the fast forward rewind button and activate the seek mode. To move to the next selection, press the right side of the button as far as it will go. The display will show seek up and the tape will go to the next selection. To go back to a previous selection, press the left side of the button. The display will show seek down. You can also use the tape scan function. Press the scan button and each selection will play for several seconds. Scanning will stop when you press the button again. Refer to your radio owner's manual for further information. So before you go out on the road, listen for a moment and enjoy. You are about to be introduced to one of the world's finest automobiles, your new BMW. The breaking in process. Your BMW is a highly valued possession, and like all things so finely tuned and superbly engineered, it can only reach its maximum operating potential through a stepped break in process. The process for ensuring your BMW's full operating life and potential economy includes braking in the engine, transmission, brake pads, and tires. You must use premium gasoline for the engine in your 525i with a minimum octane rating of 91. For the first 1200 miles, it's important that you not exceed the recommended engine RPM. Refer to your owner's manual for the recommended brake-in procedures. Care and maintenance. The exterior finish of your BMW with its extraordinary gloss and depth of color is another measure of BMW's attention to detail. To maintain maximum protection against environmental hazards, the exterior should be waxed at least two times a year. BMW has utilized the latest production and design techniques to make the upkeep of this fine finish simple and easy. Your owner's manual covers the care of all exterior components of your BMW. Care and maintenance in the index will direct you to the recommended methods of car care that will always keep your BMW looking as new as the day you bought it. In the same section of your owner's manual, you will find the recommended care instructions for the upholstery as well as other interior components. Safety features. As part of its continuing effort to improve and perfect safety standards, BMW has made both active and passive safety features standard components on all its automobiles. A three-point seat belt is standard equipment in both the front seats and the outer positions of the back seat. Always fasten your seat belt securely against your body and encourage your passengers to do the same. It's the law in many states, and for BMW, the intelligent way to safely drive your car. An airbag is part of BMW's passive safety features. The Supplementary Restraint System, or SRS, is standard on all models. It is not designed to replace your seat belts, but rather to supplement them in case of a serious frontal accident. 
A diagnostic system is built into your BMW, which constantly monitors the readiness of your airbag system. Refer to your owner's manual under Supplementary Restraint System, SRS, to learn when the system is operational and when it is not. BMW considers active safety to be as critical as passive safety. To this end, BMW has installed an anti-lock brake system, or ABS, in all models. ABS is a revolutionary braking system which helps you maintain stability so that you can steer and maneuver in the most adverse conditions. Since safety is the prime reason for ABS, it should never be used to justify unreasonable risks which could jeopardize your safety or the safety of your passengers. When you are braking and ABS is activated, you will feel a pulsating sensation through the brake pedal. This is ABS in action and is a completely normal function. As part of BMW's unique self-diagnostic capabilities, your car is equipped with an array of indicator and warning lights designed to assist you in monitoring your automobile's operating systems. Positioned in the instrument cluster for optimum viewing, these lights tell you whether or not various systems are working or if there's a malfunction you should be aware of. For example, the parking brake indicator light will tell you if your parking brake is engaged. When you start the engine, the indicator lights, including the reserve fuel indicator, will come on. This is a normal function of the bulb check system. Your owner's manual illustrates each of these lights, their function, and location on the instrument cluster. By becoming aware of these lights and what they are communicating to you about the operation of your car, you are taking full advantage of BMW's sophisticated monitoring system. The service indicator is located along the lower portion of the instrument cluster. It lets you know when an oil service or an inspection is due. Your owner's manual and service booklet give you specific information on what to look for on the service indicator and what the next steps are. For your safety in cold temperatures, your BMW senses when the outside temperature falls below 37 degrees Fahrenheit so you can adjust your driving to potentially hazardous driving conditions. A chime automatically sounds as the ambient temperature is flashed on the digital display. The correct tire pressure is essential for safety and for the longevity of your tires. Check the tire pressures at least once a month. Consult your owner's manual for the tire pressures that are appropriate for your model, the load you are carrying, and the tires you have selected. Check Control The Check Control system monitors a number of systems in your BMW, reminds you of certain procedures, and warns you of malfunctions. The Check Control display is located in the instrument cluster below the speedometer and the tachometer. When a malfunction occurs, a chime will sound and a message will appear in the display panel. The first display you see when you turn on the ignition is Fasten Belts. This message will go out after approximately six seconds or when you fasten your seat belt. The message Key in Ignition reminds you to take your key with you before you leave your car. The messages displayed by Check Control are set in two priorities. Priority 1 warnings are more urgent and require immediate attention. They range from indications about high coolant temperature to low engine oil pressure. The warning message will come on immediately along with a warning chime. Priority 2 warnings concern information such as oil and coolant levels. They come on when the ignition key is in the zero position or after stopping the car. Refer to your owner's manual under Check Control for the list of displays, the action required, and additional information about the system. When the plus symbol, located on the right side of the display, lights up, the system is ready to communicate multiple information to you. Press the Check button for further messages. If the message Check Control Inactive appears in the display, it means the Check Control system is not working. In that event, contact your authorized BMW dealer so they can correct the problem and reactivate the system. Winter Operation 
With the winter months come changes in weather, temperature, and driving conditions which impact on you and your BMW. Certain measures are recommended to adapt your car to these changes so your winter can be as trouble-free as the more moderate months. A visit to your authorized BMW dealership is the first step in winter preparation. They will carry out the necessary winterizing procedures for you. The rubber seals on your doors and lids should be treated with a rubber care product to prevent them from freezing during severe winter conditions. The paint and chrome-plated or polished metal parts can be treated with protective products as well. It's also important that you replace the windshield wiper inserts at least once a year. Having your brakes checked before the winter season is a critical part of winter preparation. Your authorized BMW dealer can perform this procedure as part of one of your routine maintenance checks. Your tires play an important role in winter driving. They assure you of optimum stability and control under adverse weather conditions. Your authorized BMW dealer will advise you on the correct tires for your BMW, taking into consideration your region of the country. Radial ply tires with special winter tread pattern are recommended. All four tires must be of the same make and tread pattern. This greatly improves braking, directional stability, and steering control. Your owner's manual details these winter and tire requirements, as well as providing numerous helpful hints for caring for and using your BMW in the winter driving period. The digital clock, in addition to the time and date, has a special memo function that can be set to signal you 15 seconds before the top of the hour. Your owner's manual will guide you through setting the time, date, and other available functions. Onboard computer. If your 5 Series is equipped with an onboard computer or OBC, you have a unique on-the-road personal computer designed to calculate and communicate information that will make your driving both safe and economical. The OBC incorporates features of a multifunction clock, such as time, date, and special reminder function, plus additional functions. For example, the range indicator monitors the quantity of fuel, then estimates the distance you can cover based on your own driving style. It also tells you your average speed and fuel consumption at any given time. You can program in specific information for your trip, such as the estimated time of arrival and remaining distance to your destination. It can even warn you when you've exceeded your pre-selected speed limit. By pressing the end of the turn signal lever in, the functions of your onboard computer will appear in the check control display. This also permits you to program specific information you want to be displayed. Your owner's manual illustrates these functions in detail. Look it up under onboard computer. Windshield wipe wash system. The windshield wipe washer lever is located on the right side of the steering column. To get a feel for the system, start the engine and move the lever up one notch to the intermittent wipe position. At this position, you have the option of programming the timing of the intermittent wiper from an interval between wipes of 2 to 20 seconds. As you go from a standstill and increase speed, the interval between wipes shortens to optimize the wiping effect. Now move the lever up one more notch to normal wiper speed. With the car at a standstill, the interval is about three seconds between wipes. However, when your BMW is moving, the speed returns to the normal range. The third position starts the fast wiper speed. Now go back to the zero position to turn the wipers off. For a single wipe, press the lever down and release. The wiper will wipe once, and then the lever will automatically go back to the off position. To activate the wipe wash function, bring the lever towards you. Hold it at this position for a moment, then release it. The wiper will operate just long enough to remove the washer fluid, and then it will return to the park position. Mirrors. The exterior mirrors of your BMW are electrically operated using the two conveniently located switches on the driver's door. Give them a try. Using the larger switch, you control the up-down, 
left-right action of your side mirror. Used in combination with the smaller switch, you can transfer the ability to adjust the passenger side mirror to the driver's side. Seat Operation The driver's seat and the front passenger seat are each electrically adjustable. Before we go through the easy steps in positioning your seat, a safety tip. Never adjust your seats while the car is in motion. Always make your adjustments before you go on the road. There are two selector controls for both front seats located on the door side of each seat. The forward control will raise and lower the front seat cushion. Move the seat forward and backward and raise and lower the rear of the seat cushion. The control just behind the first one is used to adjust the seat back angle and to move the headrest up and down. Heated front seats are optional equipment for your BMW. If your car is equipped with this feature, you can select the intensity of the seat heating you want by using the controls located next to the emergency brake. The steering wheel can be adjusted for your comfort. Under the steering column, you'll see a lever. To telescope the steering column toward you or away from you, pull this clamping lever towards you. Then, pull or push the wheel to extend or retract the steering column. Once you've found the best position for you, lock the steering column into the new position by pushing the lever into its recess. Never attempt to adjust the steering wheel position while the car is in motion. Central Locking the central locking system operates a number of the locks on your car simultaneously. There are several ways to activate the system. When you lock or unlock either of the front doors or the trunk with your key, all of the doors, the trunk lid, and fuel filler flap locks are activated. The same thing happens if the lock button on the driver's door is pressed down or pulled up. The passenger door can unlock all four doors as a safety feature. If the windows or sunroof have been left open, you can close them by holding the key in the lock position on the driver's door until they have closed. Your BMW has a special double locking feature called the Unlock Inhibit System. Simply turn the driver's door key clockwise as far as it will go, turn it back to the normal position, and take it out. Now your doors cannot be opened without a key. This special locking feature is operated with your master key. You can unlock the car from either the driver's or passenger's side. Once it has been activated, you cannot open the car from either the inside or the outside in any other way. Do not use it when passengers are in the car. To limit access to your trunk, you can lock the trunk separately with the master key. Turn the key clockwise and then pull it out at the final position. In that case, the trunk can only be opened with your master key. Remember, if you open the trunk with a master key while the car is double locked, you must relock the trunk when you close it. If there's a failure in the central locking system, your fuel filler flap can be opened manually using a locking mechanism inside your trunk. The driver's side door lock is automatically heated in cold weather. Simply lift the handle and the heating element is activated. The central locking system opens automatically in case of an accident or severe impact when the engine is running. Your BMW is equipped with a special child-proof safety device. Check your owner's manual for details. Your BMW is factory pre-wired for a keyless alarm system if you decide you want one. If one has not yet been installed, contact your authorized BMW dealership for more information. Electric windows and sunroof. Your windows are raised and lowered by using the push button panel in the center console. The control panel also includes a safety button, which takes control of the rear seat windows to prevent children from operating them from the back seat. As an additional convenience, your BMW has a special one-touch toll circuit that lets you fully open and close the driver's side window automatically by briefly tapping that button on the control panel. Once you've gone through a toll booth, for example, tap the button again 
and the window will close. You can stop the movement of the window with a tap as well. Remember, for safety reasons, this automatic function can be interrupted by pressing any of the window lift buttons or the sunroof button. The switch to operate your sunroof is located just above the rear view mirror. You can easily place the sunroof in any desired position. Push the button in and the rear of the sunroof rises. To open it, push the switch to the rear. To close, push the switch to the front. Your sunroof can also be opened and closed with a one-touch operation. Briefly tap the button in the direction you want, and it will open or close automatically. Another tap will interrupt this automatic feature and return you to its regular operation. In the interest of safety, remember to shut off all systems by taking your ignition key out before leaving your car. Never leave keys where children can have access to them. Battery. Because of the sophistication of the electronic systems the battery operates, it is strongly recommended that you consult your owner's manual for important details about your battery, including the proper way to jumpstart. The battery of your BMW is located under the rear seat cushion. There is a remote positive post in the engine compartment on the bulkhead. A proper ground should be utilized. Heating and air conditioning. When going over the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning functions of your BMW, it's recommended that you refer also to your owner's manual. It's an invaluable aid in guiding you through these built-in comfort features. The control panel for the operation of your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems is located in the center dash just below your radio. To the left of the panel's center are the slide controls that let you control and vary the pattern of airflow. The top lever controls distribution to the upper part of the car through the defroster and the front door window vents. The middle slide control regulates the air that flows from the air outlet grills along the dashboard to the rear compartment through the center console and the vents on the front side doors. You can direct the flow of air by turning the grills from side to side and up and down. The thumb wheels on the air outlet grills are used to reduce the intensity of the airflow or close off the vent if you prefer. The third slide lever regulates the air that is distributed to the front and rear footwell outlets. The system is designed to balance warmth and coolness for maximum comfort. The rotary dials on the panel control temperature and airflow intensity. In the middle is the blower control. You increase the blower speed as you turn it clockwise. The controls on either side of the blower control are the independent temperature controls for the driver and passenger sides. The degree of individual temperature control is influenced by outside weather conditions. Once you've set the temperature you want, the system will maintain your chosen comfort level until you decide to change it. When the driver's temperature control is set in the full warm or full cool position, no automatic temperature control is available on the passenger side. A pictogram just under the rotary controls indicates the maximum defrost setting for the windshield. To the left of the panel are three push buttons. The recirculated air button at the bottom recirculates the inside air to maximize cooling as well as to cut off unwanted air from the outside. It functions in the same way in conjunction with the heat and ventilation system. Don't drive too far with this function on, however, or the interior air will become too stale. The middle push button turns on the air conditioning system. When cooling at maximum power, the recirculated air automatically turns on. The top push button controls the rear window defogger. As long as the indicator light is on, the defogger is working at maximum power. When it goes out, the defogger works at an energy saving level for about 20 minutes. Press the button again if your rear window needs more intense defrosting. To switch the system off, press the button when the indicator light is on. Outside air is drawn through a microfilter which filters pollen and dust particles. 
A filter change is part of a scheduled service offered by your authorized BMW dealer. Any reduction in airflow may indicate a need for an earlier filter change. Keep at least one air outlet open when you turn on the air conditioning system. Briefly run the air conditioning at least once a month, even in the winter season, just to keep the system in top running order. If the system isn't working right, turn it off and take it to your authorized BMW dealer as soon as possible. We hope this program is providing you with the kind of information you can use to get acquainted with your new BMW as quickly as possible. Remember, your owner's manual contains specific information and details, including helpful illustrations, to help you take full advantage of the many features BMW offers. transmission. If you have selected an automatic transmission for your BMW, it is equipped with a unique electronic hydraulic transmission, which gives you three shift programs, automatic, economy, manual, or sport. Start your BMW in park, and the transmission automatically goes to the automatic economy program, and an E is displayed on the lower portion of the instrument cluster. The gear shift lever position is also displayed next to the program selection display. You can use the program switch located next to the gear shift lever to switch from the automatic program to the manual program and back again. With the gear shift lever in drive and the program selection in automatic, your BMW will drive normally. If an increase in power is needed, you can change to a sport program by shifting into third gear. The display will show S3. This will make full use of the engine capabilities and provide responsive performance. Gear positions 1 and 2 may also be used. Shift back to drive to return to economy program. The manual program gives you the option of a single gear driving style by locking the transmission into either 3rd, 2nd, or 1st. If the gear shift lever remains in drive and the manual program is selected, the display will show MD and the transmission is placed into third gear. On icy roads, you can still pull away smoothly and no gear shifts will occur. The transmission has an emergency driving program that permits the car to be driven even when certain electrical faults occur. You are alerted with a display that says transmission fail. If this should happen, avoid extreme engine loads and contact your nearest authorized BMW dealer immediately. Your BMW is equipped with a kick-down feature which allows you to accelerate quickly to pass. Just press the accelerator past its usual full throttle position and the transmission will automatically go into a lower gear for maximum acceleration. When you put your car in gear, wait for the transmission to engage before you accelerate, especially in cooler weather. Whenever you leave your car, it's recommended that you engage the parking brake. Refer to your owner's manual under Automatic Transmission for further details. Sound System your BMW is equipped with a state-of-the-art audio system that surrounds you with front row center concert sound. This electronic AM-FM stereo cassette, CD-ready radio, puts your entertainment choices right at your fingertips. Ten strategically placed speakers wrap you in total sound. The AM-FM stereo radio has programmable 18-station memory, automatic digital tuning with station lock-in, and convenient seek-and-scan functions among its many features. You can even dial in your local weather band for 24-hour-a-day weather reports from the National Weather Service. 
The stereo cassette player features Dolby noise reduction, seek and scan, skip blank, true fast forward and rewind with program side indication. The stereo radio is also CD ready, which gives you the option of adding a CD to your sound system. Your car has been pre-wired at the factory to accept the BMW CD player changer. If you haven't already had one installed, contact your authorized BMW dealer for more information. Like the control panel on your BMW, the face of your stereo radio is ergonomically designed for ease of operation on the road. A radio owner's manual comes with your new BMW. Use it with this program as we take you through some of the sound system's basic functions and operations. The entire unit is protected against theft by an electronic anti-theft system which makes your radio completely non-operable. On the left side of the front panel is the anti-theft indicator light. When you take your key out of the ignition, it will flash continuously to let you and anyone else know the anti-theft system is in operation. If any of the radio buttons are touched, a warning tone will sound for approximately five minutes. The only other way to stop the warning tone is to turn the ignition back on. To secure your anti-theft radio, a personal five-digit security code has been entered into the system memory. Your anti-theft security code belongs to you and your BMW only. If you lose your code cards or forget your code, your authorized BMW dealer will contact BMW. No codes will be given out to anyone under any circumstances except authorized BMW personnel after proof of ownership and identification are established. For your own protection, memorize your number or keep your code cards with you, never in the car. To enter the code, the radio must be on. The word code will appear in the radio display. Use the numbered push buttons to enter your code. If the correct code isn't entered in three successive tries, the radio will not accept another entry until electrical power to the radio has been left on for an hour. An important reminder about entering your code. If you make a mistake in the number sequence, don't stop in the middle. Enter the remaining numbers to complete the entire sequence. The word code will reappear on the display. Do the entire sequence over again and enter the correct five numbers. If you get a beep during the sequence, stop immediately and start from the top. Any disruption of the electrical power, like a disconnected battery, for example, will shut your radio down completely until the electrical power is restored and the security code has been entered. To tune your radio, press the band button to select AM or FM, which will show up in the display along with the station you are tuned to. There are two FM program selections, FM1 and FM2. Press the program button to switch between them. The tuning buttons on the bottom right let you move up or down the program dial one step at a time or by seek function. For seek tuning, press the up or down button as far as it will go. The radio will automatically lock into the next clear station. When you are on a clear stereo channel, the ST indicator will light up. As the signal diminishes, the indicator light will flicker. When you press the WB button, it automatically seeks out the strongest weather band in your area. Once the band is found, it's displayed. If none can be found, a beep will sound and no station will appear in the display. When you press the WB button again, the radio will return to the original band. When you press the scan button, the scan tuning feature automatically guides you through the medium to strong stations with a short pause on each one. You can select the station simply by pressing the scan button again on the station you want. Programming your favorite stations is easy using the preset buttons on the bottom of the radio. First, tune in the station you want, then push one of the preset buttons until you hear a beep. The radio has your station in memory. Repeat the process for each FM1, FM2, and AM station. The LEDs for the preset buttons are orange when a station is entered in memory and turn green when you make that selection.
The preset memory number will also show on the display. The mode button, located above the anti-theft inscription, selects the bass, treble, fader, and balance of your radio. The mode you've selected will show up in the display and can be adjusted with the plus and minus buttons. When the mode button is depressed more than one and a half seconds, the level of each mode goes back to the center flat position. A beep sounds and flat comes on in the display. Operating the cassette player is as easy as turning on the radio and putting in a cassette. The unit automatically switches from radio to tape. To eject a cassette, press the 1EJ button and the player will return to the radio function. When you use fast forward and rewind, the function appears in the display. The display also tells you which side of the tape you're playing. The top side is indicated with a 1 and the bottom side is displayed with a 2. Press the fast forward rewind buttons as far as they'll go and the seek mode takes you from selection to selection forward or backwards. To reverse tape direction press the program button. When the tape reaches the end of a side it automatically reverses direction. Just like the radio the tape function has scan capability. When you press the scan button the player automatically goes to each selection playing each one for about 13 seconds. You can stop the scan function by pressing the button again. The skip blank button, 2SB, automatically advances the tape to the next recorded section when it detects a blank space on the tape of over 15 seconds. When there's a long unrecorded part at the end of a tape, skip blank will go to the end and start playing the other side. SB will show up on the display when the button is pressed and flash while the tape is advancing. If you turn the ignition off while the tape is playing, it will automatically go into the pause mode, returning to the normal play mode when the ignition is turned on again. Your cassette player is equipped with a special protective feature which removes any slack in the tape before it plays. Your BMW cassette player monitors the amount of tape time spent and lets you know when it's time to clean the playback heads and cap stands. Any deterioration in sound is a cue to clean the heads as well. Use a head cleaning cassette and allow it to run on both side one and two. A cassette deck cleaning kit is available through your authorized BMW dealer. This cassette unit is designed as part of a highly sophisticated integrated audio system. Work done on the system anywhere but at an authorized BMW dealership or installation of another manufacturer's equipment to augment it may cause damage which is not covered under the BMW warranty. Consult your manual for specific instructions on operating your sound system and the best way to use and maintain it for optimum listening pleasure. If you have selected the BMW CD player changer for your BMW, operation is easy. Load the CDs into the magazine in the slots numbered 1 to 6 and insert the magazine into the player. To use the CD player, turn the radio on and press the band button until CD appears in the display. You can select a particular disc by pressing one of the six selection buttons. The indicator light will go on when you press the selection you want. If disc error comes up on the display, it's telling you that the optical laser is having difficulty reading the disc. Take the magazine out and check the disc. Often it's just a matter of a disc having been loaded with the label facing in the wrong direction. Flip it to the correct position and the disc will play. The fast forward and reverse function works just as it does with your cassette player. By operating either the fast forward or reverse function, you put the CD player into the track search mode. This way you can easily move from track to track. To scan the music tracks, use the scan function. Scan appears in the display and the player plays the first 10 seconds of each track. To stop at a track, just press the scan button again. Your CD player also has a special random play feature. Just press the program button and random play will come up on the display.
The player then takes over and randomly selects tracks from among all the discs in the magazine. One touch of the program button will cancel this function. A message in the display will tell you if there is no magazine in the CD changer. Cellular Telephone The BMW Cellular Telephone is an optional feature of your BMW. If one is not yet installed, your car is factory pre-wired and ready for easy installation of a cellular telephone by your authorized BMW dealer. The BMW Cellular Telephone has built-in features that go even further than your phone system in the office or at home. For example, the pre-programming capability allows you to input frequently dialed numbers for one-touch dialing. Telephone muting is another special component of your BMW sound system. When a call comes in on your cellular phone, the system automatically reduces the volume of the radio. A CD or cassette will go into the pause mode. When your phone conversation is completed, the volume of your radio goes back to normal and the CD or cassette resumes its regular functioning. Your authorized BMW dealer has included a detailed owner's manual for your BMW cellular phone. Look through it carefully so you can take full advantage of the many features offered. Services and Inspections the BMW maintenance system is designed to protect your investment in our product by assuring safety, reliability, and the resale value of your new BMW. The intervals between maintenance visits to your authorized BMW dealership are customized to meet your vehicle's maintenance requirements. We call it preventive maintenance because it can prevent costly breakdowns due to wear or simple neglect. Maintenance of your vehicle is a process which is constantly monitored by the unique and highly advanced BMW service indicator system. Sensors are constantly at work gathering information about your vehicle which impacts directly on its maintenance requirements. The system not only takes into account accumulated mileage, but specific information such as engine coolant temperatures, high or low engine speeds, driving conditions, and even your style of driving. From this data, the system computes the appropriate schedule of service visits and inspections for your BMW. Your authorized BMW dealer has made substantial investments in tools, equipment, and manpower. Factory trained BMW technicians and other service personnel are focused on one thing, customer service. And that means cost effective and convenient service. It also means using only original BMW parts. It's all part of BMW's effort to maintain the highest standards to protect your investment now and in the future. Service booklet. The service booklet goes into specific detail about service requirements and inspections. To assure the lasting value of each inspection and service visit, all systems are thoroughly checked from fluid levels to brakes, tire pressures to electrical equipment, culminating in a road test. The service booklet illustrates the checklists used by BMW technicians to make sure that every element of a service and inspection is covered. For your convenience, the schedule found in your service booklet incorporates emission control inspections with your other service visits. In addition, it's important that you consult the warranty information booklet for the warranties that apply to your BMW. BMW offers a six-year limited anti-corrosion warranty against rust perforation, provided the car is maintained properly and within the requirements of the warranty. BMW can offer this attractive warranty because of the extraordinary advances made in corrosion protection at the point of manufacture. Please consult both your service booklet and the warranty information booklet for specific details. Consumer Warranty Information Your new BMW carries a new vehicle bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty. It states that your BMW will be free of defects in material or workmanship for a four-year or 50,000-mile period, whichever comes first. The warranty begins on the date of sale. There are certain limitations and exclusions with this warranty. 
Please check your warranty booklet for detailed information. BMW Quality Continuation Plan Through the Quality Continuation Plan, called QCP, authorized BMW dealers offer owners an optional service contract. QCP covers the repair of certain components should they fail over the term of the plan. To be eligible, your BMW must have more than 30 months and 32,000 miles remaining on the original new vehicle bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty that took effect when you purchased your BMW. Your dealer will be happy to show you how the quality continuation plan can work for you. BMW Roadside Assistance Program the unique BMW Roadside Assistance Program provides the driver with fast, convenient, on-site service in case of an emergency. When those unexpected things happen, you run out of gas, you have a flat tire, Roadside Assistance is there 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. All you have to do is call the toll-free number on your program identification card. BMW Roadside Assistance makes available a long list of benefits, including emergency road service, towing service using a flatbed truck, and trip interruption benefits. In most cases, the driver can sign for services without any cash outlay. The BMW Roadside Assistance Program is provided free of charge to all new owners who bought their BMWs from an authorized BMW dealer in the United States. It lasts as long as the original new vehicle bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty is in effect. This special program reinforces BMW's commitment to maintaining the perfection of the BMW driving experience. The roadside assistance brochure tells you everything you need to know about this special program. The temporary ID card provided to you will be replaced with a permanent one. A BMW service card program offers, at the customer's expense, continued roadside assistance coverage after the new vehicle limited warranty expires. Services are provided by Cross Country Motor Club Incorporated of Boston, Massachusetts, and in California by Cross Country Motor Club of California, Boston, Massachusetts. This program, like your owner's manual, is an accessible source of information for easy reference. We hope it has been helpful in guiding you through the many features and functions of your new BMW. It is just part of BMW's commitment to you and to making your ownership experience the best it can be. To familiarize you with the depth, breadth, and dimension of your stereo system, this music selection has been chosen for your enjoyment. Listen to the sound through the multiple speaker system and use the mode button to adjust the bass and treble for your personal listening pleasure. <laughs>